Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. If we talk about the air to missile program by DRDO, the 110 km range Astra Mark 1 has completed its development and entered into production. DRDO is also working on offshoot version of Astra Mark 1 called Astra IR or infrared missile having a range of 80 km. The Astra Mark 2 is going to have a dual pulse rocket motor having a range of 160 km. Ahead of Indian Air Force Day celebration, a promo video was shared by Indian Air Force where we could see Astra Mark II being launched from Su-30 MKI. The Astra Mark III is going to use solid fuel ducted ramjet SFDR technology and will have a range of 340 km. DRDO has already completed the ground booster, nozzle booster performance and separation trials of SFDR technology. Two flight trials of SFDR have also been conducted this year. DRDO is working towards development of full-fledged missile based on SFDR and conduct its maiden trial by next year. So Astra Mark 1, Astra Mark 2 and future Astra Mark 3 missile, all of them will have a common ejector launcher called Astra Launcher, which was also tested along with Astra 2 missile as per the image released by Indian Air Force. So after mastering the dual pulse rocket technology, which will power Astra Mark II, DRDO has started working on three pulse solid rocket motor. Recently, DRDO has released a statement of work for procurement of lined igniter assembly for three pulse motor. A solid rocket motor requires an efficient ignition system to start its functioning. A separate ignition system called igniter is assembled in the rocket motor to achieve this task. Igniters for solid rocket motors are basically of two types. Pryogen igniters used in large rocket motors such as ballistic missiles and pyrotechnic igniters used for small rocket motors such as Astra missile. The propulsive force of a solid propellant motor is derived from the combustion of the solid propellant at high temperature and pressure. The igniter induces the combustion reaction in a controlled and predictable manner by generating heat flux in form of hot, dense gases that rapidly ignites the propellant surface. The igniter also contributes towards the generation of a certain minimum pressure inside the motor that is adequate for stable and sustained combustion of the propellant. Now from the statement of work issued by DRDO for lined igniter assembly for three pulse motor, we can understand that the prototype development of this type of technology is at the final stage of completion. This development could be for a new surface to air missile. The three pulse solid rocket motor propulsion will give enough burn time to the missile to be able to engage maneuverable aerial targets from very long range. DRDO is also working on a new solid rocket motor which is called throttable solid rocket motor as it will offer on-demand thrust modulation. It is going to be a hybrid missile which will combine the throttability of a liquid fuel engine with simplicity of a solid motor. This type of propulsion technology will improve the missile's kinematic performance and avoid the unwanted burning of fuel, thereby giving it better sustained burn time and range. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.